Welcome, this is Aircraft Engineered. Today we are going to carry out a hydraulic fluid sample collection on a Boeing 777. Let's go. Aircraft hydraulic samples once collected are sent to the lab for analysis. This gives us a complete overview of the quality of the hydraulic fluid on the aircraft. To ensure we get the best hydraulic samples from all three independent hydraulic systems, we need to power or pressurize all three systems. After that, we need to move or test all flight control systems using the powered hydraulic systems. What this does is it mixes hydraulic fluid from different parts of the aircraft and ensures they pass through the hydraulic reservoir where our sample will be taken. When working or handling aircraft hydraulic systems, it's important to strictly follow the aircraft maintenance manual safety procedures. So after we complete our cockpit preparation for this procedure, we have to go and locate our aircraft hydraulic system reservoirs. So this is our left system hydraulic reservoir on the left engine pylon. So different hydraulic system components are also located in this uh, hydraulic compartment. But our target today, our main point of focus is our hydraulic sampling a valve so to access our hydraulic sampling valve you need to come to the input side or the right hand side of the engine pylon compartment this is our hydraulic sampling valve so let's start our procedure so the first step is to remove the safety wire from our hydraulic sampling valve bleed screw After that, we loosen and remove the dust cap from our bleeding port. After we remove the cap, the procedure is quite simple. We position our hydraulic sampling container underneath the bleeding port and we unscrew the bleed screw and the hydraulic fluid will come from the reservoir onto the container. But uh, please make sure you slowly open the bleed screw so that the hydraulic fluid doesn't form up in the container. So there we go, we open our bleed screw and our hydraulic fluid is coming out. So filling up the whole container might take a bit of time, so I'll skip that portion of the video. So once we collect our sample, we clean our container, install a label sticker, write down aircraft details, location, time, and date of the sampling. We clean the area and then install our bleeding pot cap back. We also ensure our bleed screw is tightened and safety with the safety wire. After this, our hydraulic sampling procedure is done. Now, for the center and the right system, the procedure is exactly the same, and the hydraulic sampling valve are also located at the same positions. After everything is done, it's important to do a general visual inspection of the area before we close up. So, thank you so much for watching. Like and follow for more. Ciao.